Krishnan, Professor, Civil Engineering Department, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. In today's lecture, we are going to study how to analyze the pin jointed plane frames by using the method of section. At the end of this session, the students will able to determine the forces in all the members of the truss by method of section. Method of section is used when we have to determine only few forces force members from the entire truss and again it is used when we are not able to solve the forces in members of the truss by using the method of joint. So, if the method of joint fails to start with the analysis for not getting a point with only two unknown forces. And in this method, after determining the reactions, we have to draw a section line through the members in which we have to find out the forces. And again, the section line should pass only through the three members that we have to keep in mind. Now, in this given truss, they have to ask find the magnitude and nature of the force in member F H, H G and G I. So, if we see this entire figure member H F, so this member, so it is member F H and member H G and member G I. So, we have to find out the forces in these three members. So, we will see how to find the forces in these three members by method of section. If we go through the method, method of joint, okay, so in that case we have to start from the joint A, is not it? So, it will be a long process to find the forces only the, these three members. So, to avoid the method of joint, we will go for the method of section to find only the forces in these members. And it is the equilateral triangle, so inclination we will get it is 60 degree. Okay, and at the at each joint the 10 kilo newton force is acting. So, first of all we will calculate the reactions at the support. So, at joint A it is the hinge support. So, here we will get two reactions that is R A vertical reaction and the horizontal reaction H A. At joint O it is a roller support. So, here we will get only the vertical reaction R O. Now, we will calculate the these two reactions. If you observe this entire figure at each joint the 10 kilo newton force is acting. So, whenever we will get the dimensions of the truss members are same and at joint each force is equal equal external force if it is acting at each joint. So, in that case we can directly uh, divide these forces into the two reactions. For example, here how many forces we are having this 10 kilo newton it is 7 forces we are having. So, instead of considering the moment of each force. So, the sum of all the forces how much we will get it is 20, 10 into 7 it is 70 kilo newton. Okay. So, we are having the dimensions of all the truss members are same and the equal load is acting on the each joint. So, I can directly divide equally divide this 70 kilo newton to the both reaction. So, here we will get R A is equal to R O is of 35 kilo newton. When we can directly divide like this, when only we will get the equal forces acting and the dimension of the truss members are same. In that case only we can directly calculate the reaction without considering the moment. Okay. Now, we have to find out the force in member F H, H G and G I. So, after finding the reactions, we have to pass the section line from the these three members. So, I will draw the section line from these three members. Okay. We have to pass the section line only three members in which we have to find out the 
forces okay so here it is the section line 11 which is passing through four member hf hg and g i okay so after passing the section line consider any side of the truss so if i consider this part of the truss so i have drawn the section line from these three points these three members so here it is force in member g i then here it is force in member g h and here i will consider force in member f h okay and here the reaction of 35 kilo newton okay so after passing the section line first consider the moment about a point where you will get the maximum moment in forces will be zero so if i consider the moment about point g so i will get the moment of these two forces is zero because these are passing through the moment center so by using this moment equation i can find out the force in member f h so consider the moment about point g is equal to zero so how much we will get here so it is minus f force in member f h into 4 sin 60 4 sin 60 means you have to calculate this perpendicular distance okay all the members of the truss are given as 4 meter and the angle is given as 60 degree okay so here this perpendicular distance you will get 4 sin 60 plus this reaction vertical reaction at ra it is rotating in clockwise direction isn't it this fh is also rotating in clockwise direction so here also we will get positive movement then 35 into what is the perpendicular distance it is 12 meter from the joint g then next these external forces okay so these all are rotating in anti clockwise direction okay so here it is minus 10 into this force the distance is 10 meter then this force it is minus 10 into 6 then again this one it is 10 into 2 is equal to 0 so from this equation you will get force in member f h is equal to 69.28 kilo newton okay so here you will get the negative value so the nature of force will be compressive now after taking the moment here i will consider sum of all vertical forces is equal to zero so what are the vertical forces it is ra it is acting vertically upward minus these three external forces it is minus 10 minus 10 and minus 10 then the component of this vertical component of this force h g h so it is force in g h cos 60 is equal to 0 okay so from this equation you will get force in member g h is equal to 5.77 again here you will get the negative value so here we have assumed it as a tensile force but the exact nature of force is compression then after finding the force in f h here i will consider sum of all horizontal forces is equal to 0 so what are the horizontal forces in this it is force in gi minus force in fh why here i have taken minus because we got the nature of force is compression so in that case this force is acting towards the joint like this so it is acting towards the left so here i have considered it as a minus then plus force in gh 
cos 60 is equal to 0 horizontal component of the force g h so from this equation you can find the force in member g i is equal to 72.17 kilo newton so here you will get the positive value so whatever the nature of force we have assumed it is correct so the exact nature of force in this gi is tensile force so likewise you can easily find out the forces in few members of the entire truss by using the method of section these are some questions given on the method of section these are the answers these are the references considered for the study Thank you.